FIFA content, the new gaming content here on the One Eyed United Guy channel. I had mentioned it, I believe, in the first uh, uh, video here on the One Eyed United Guy channel that we would be getting into some uh, video game content. Uh, I mentioned we would be doing some FIFA content. I will also be doing some PES content. I'm probably going to end up doing the PES 2021 a season update content since that does have Master League. Uh, also, we will be doing some Fortnite game content. We will be doing Star Wars games such as Rogue Squadron, uh, Force... Uh, not, I'm sorry, not Force Awakens, but Battlefront. Uh, also, Fallen Order, we will be doing some Assassin's Creed. we got all kinds of different things planned here, but this is what we're going to start with, guys. Some Manchester United Universe... Er, universe wow, I can't believe it's a universe, but I'm thinking about WWE because that's what I was playing a bit ago. But yes, we are here to do Manchester United's career mode. So, with that said, as you can see, we have created our manager. It is Mr. One-Eyed United guy here, rocking the tracksuit, rocking the United hat. We are going to take over United. The way that I like to run my career modes is as such. I like to give us as much money as possible, and I like to run it kind of like a half reality base and half of a fantasy football where you can kind of make big signings that you don't normally have happen and kind of make your team just like insane. Um, I want to make sure that I include you guys in a lot of the decisions as far as who goes, who comes, who do we sign, who do we re-sign, who do we send on loads, etc. So I want you guys to get into the comments. I want you to let me know what you guys want to do with this club. I want to bring Manchester United back to the forefront of football, whether it be not just the Premier League. I want us to win the FA Cup. I want us to win the Champions League. I want us to do everything that we can do. So what I'm going to do here once I get us going is I am going to give us the financial takeover with $1 billion. And then I'm also going to uh, change the currency to the Euros. I'm going to make sure that we have a difficulty of world class as that is where I'm at currently. I'm not great with FIFA, but I have enough experience that I can play some decent games. And eventually we will go up in the... Uh, match difficulty rankings as we progress. So we will start on world class difficulty. We will have a billion pounds to uh, mess with here. So we're going to get into this, get our team loaded up. We are going to, uh, first thing, what I like to do once I get my career mode started is I like to look at the squad, see who we have, look and see who are going to place on the transfer list, and then get into who I believe we should uh, start scouting, who we should bring in. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and get us going here. While we're waiting for it to load, guys, I would really like to extend my most humble gratitude for the over 450 uh, subscribers to the One-Eyed United Guy channel. You guys just amaze me with you guys coming on board to subscribe. I greatly appreciate you. We are going to make sure that we have everything going on that we possibly can on here. I'm trying to make this channel grow. And we just want to make this as just as, as great as possible. So thank you, thank you. Keep coming back. Let your friends know. And please subscribe. Hit that like button. Share it. Bring everybody here. As you can see here, we are walking up. We are accepting it. One-Eyed United guy has taken over Manchester United. All right. So as I said, we're going to do a few things. First thing on tap is we've got the preseason invite. Uh, let's see, the American Challenge Cup. I kind of like that idea as I am an American citizen. I live here in Wyoming. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's in the uh, Midwest of uh, the United States. And uh, let's see, we have that for 12.5 million euros available to win. Champions Trophy 10 and a half and Invitational Cup. I think just because of the uh, homegrown and with who we would get to play in it, teams such as NYCFC, Bayer Leverkusen, Leon, and of course Real Madrid. I think we're going to go ahead and accept the American Challenge Cup as our preseason tournament. Plus, it gives us a little more money depending on where we are at at the end of the standings. So, first thing, as I said, what I like to do once we get into our squad is I like to go into our squad hub, see who we have on the team, who uh, is in here, who we need to sign, who we need to get rid of, who we need to put on transfer. So that's what we're going to do here. First off is CR7, Cristiano Ronaldo. Like he's really going to go anywhere. We are not going to let him go. So CR7, you are staying, brother. 
Uh, David De Gea staying as well. Bruno Fernandez. This is a player this year that you know he's had a roller coaster season, but I do believe he brings a lot more to the team than a lot of other guys. He just needs to get a little bit more confidence back. So Bruno Fernandez, you will be staying, young man, and we will hope to have you back on your feet. Paul Pogba. This is a guy who is very polarizing for us this season. He had a few moments of brilliance, but, you know, his true character has shown that he has no love for this club anymore. So I'm going to go and actually put him on the transfer list uh, to see if we can get some money from him. If you guys think that's a bad decision and you want to keep him, let me know in the comments and we'll see what we can do. But for now, he will be put on the transfer list to see if we could get some money for him. And then we can bring somebody else in because, I mean, I'm pretty sure we can get close to 100 mil for him. Uh, next up on the list, Rafael Varane. You will not be going anywhere. He is the anchor of our back line, and I really need him to stay in and help build up our squad. So Rafael Varane, great veteran, keeping him in the team. Jaden Sancho, absolutely great baller, big-time playmaker. I just think he needs to get a little bit more, uh, you know, tread under his feet here in the Premier League. He came from the Bundesliga to us. I just, need, I just think he needs to get... A little bit more experience for us, so he's going to be staying. Edison Gavani, same situation as Pogba. You know, he just he plays when he wants to, and when he and when he wants to play, he plays great. But he just doesn't seem to have that fire anymore. So Eddie, thanks for your service, but you're hitting the brakes, man. Uh, if you guys you know want to have him stay, let me know in the comments. Luke Shaw, I'm really on the fence with him. He had a great season for us last year in real life, but this year he's been hot and cold. So, for now, I'm going to leave him on the club. But if you guys want to see him move on, hit that uh, comment. Let me know what you're going to want me to do with Luke Shaw. Marcus Rashford, another one of those. Hot and cold all season. You know, before he got injured, he was doing great. He came back from injury, and he just, he's been a shell of his former self. I think I'm going to hold on to him for now. But if you guys think that we should do a better... Uh, a different move for him maybe try and give him on a loan for a short term get his confidence back maybe sell him for big money i don't know you guys let me know scott mctominay i think he's a baller when he's on his game but you know he's had another one of those up and down seasons as a lot of our players have so hit me up in the comments let me know what you want to do harry mcguire god this guy has just pissed me off this season there's no other ways to say it this guy has pissed me off I don't even want him in the club, to be honest with you. I want to put him on the transfer list, and I want to get big money for him to bring somebody else in, maybe like a Matias Select or like a Milan Skriniar from Inter Milan, somebody like that. I'm going to put him on the transfer list. If you guys want me to do something different with him, let me know in the comments. Uh, next up, Tony Marshall, hot and cold player. He has currently... Uh, on loan at Sevilla, I'm going to leave him there until his loan is expired and we'll reevaluate him when he gets back. Uh, Aaron Wamasaka, you know, I had high hopes for him. When Ole signed him a couple seasons ago, I thought he was a great signing for us. And he really came out firing on all cylinders. He was our best player that we had in our back line. And then all of a sudden, he just kind of, I don't know, this season he just fell off. And last season he was doing the same thing. I don't think that he has what it takes to be a starter for us. I think he might make a great backup right back. I will hold on to him unless you guys think we should do something different with him. Let me know. Dean Henderson, great young keeper, but he does make a lot of simple mistakes that have cost us a lot this season. He rushes out for the ball, which leaves the net open. People get easy finesse goals on him. I personally think that if he had the the time to improve you know he might become a good keeper but i just don't know if it is the right fit for him to be here anymore for now i'm gonna leave him in the squad unless you guys let me know what you want me to do with him fred this dude has changed my mind about him completely the last three seasons that he's been here i have had absolute utter disdain for fred i've not rated him as a player whatsoever when he got brought in, my first thought was, who the hell is this guy? But he actually, this season, he's been probably our most solid midfield player. He has shown up on big matches, made great, smart plays, and he's actually held his own all season. Fred, you have changed my mind on you, so I will keep you in the squad 
at least for the time being. Uh, Alex Tellez, I actually rate him higher than I did Luke Shaw, so I will be holding on to him unless we get somebody else in or we have an offer that we can't refuse. Uh, Victor Lindelof, I rate him hell of a lot higher than I do Harry Maguire, so he will be staying. Nemanja Matic, he's actually leaving in real life aspects. I'd actually like to put him on the transfer list to see if we can get some money for him to get somebody else. How you going? <clears throat> Huh, allergies, man. I'm telling you, they're rough. <laughs> Donny Van de Beek. He's on loan at Everton, and he actually helped them get out of the relegation battle as of last night. So, well done on him. I think Eric Ten Hag coming in might help him gain his confidence back. I'm going to leave him on loan at Everton, at least for the time being, unless I need to bring him back early. Hopefully, he will... Uh, you know, continue to be a good player for us and actually in real life come back with a vengeance and actually prove why it was smart for us to bring him in. Jesse Lingard, a player that, you know, he has cult hero status for us, but I don't think he needs to be around anymore. I think it's time for him to move on. I think that kind of in the same line as Paul Pogba, I believe he needs to have something fresh for him to bite on and you know, move forward in his career. So, Jesse, thank you for your services. It's time to move forward. Diogo Delo, same situation as the two left backs, uh, Tellez and Shaw. Decent seasons, sometimes terrible seasons, other times confidence up and down. I think he's a good backup uh, right back, but I don't know if he's necessarily a starting caliber. I will hold on to him until we get something better down the road. Eric Bailly, this dude, he sneezes and he breaks his ankle. So I, I don't need somebody who's injured all the time taking up uh, salary cap and taking up bench space. So Eric Bailly, I'm going to try and sell him for, you know, a decent price to get somebody for him. Somebody that can actually stay off of the injured list. Juan Mata, great player in his day, but, you know, he's 33 years old. He's not getting any younger. He's not getting any better. I think it's time to sell him off, move him forward, get some money for him. So, Juan, thank you for your service, sir. Have a nice day. Peace out. Tom Heaton, I'm not really sure why we brought him in other than as a third-string keeper, I guess. But I, I I, don't know. I think I'll hold on to him just as a third-string keeper, but I highly doubt he'll get any game time. We've got a few of our loanies here, uh, Brandon Williams and Twan Zabi. I'll leave them where they're at. Phil Jones. <laughs> yeah, that that mean face. Yeah, it's all I can think about when I see Phil Jones. He's been at the club for almost 12 years. And, yeah, the words for him are failure, overrated when he came in, not necessary, and time to go. Uh, for those of you who didn't have the opportunity to ever see me play any of my other FIFAs a few years back, I actually had the same disdain for Phil Jones now that I had for Ashley Young a couple years ago. And I sold Ashley Young to a second division team, I believe in Spain, for a pound. And Phil Jones, you're getting the same treatment as soon as I can. So, Phil Jones, you're hitting the bricks. I'll, I will sell you for a dollar for one pound and a pair of trousers. Anthony Alenga, I'm putting a block on offers. You are not going anywhere. You are a young talent that I can see myself building around. Palestri, Laird, Garner, Chong, Diallo, Bernard, Mingi, all on loans. I'm going to leave them where they're at, let them develop, see where they go. Lee Grant. I don't even know why the heck we have him. He's retiring at the end of the season. I'd rather just release him. Why can't I release him? Go away! Go away! <laughs> I'm going to put him on the list. See if he'll go anywhere. Levitt, he's on loan. Hannibal, great young talent. I think he has a lot, uh, a lot of learning to do. I think I'm going to put him on loan and see what we can get for him as far as taking him somewhere to... Get a little more experience. Uh, hardly, I hardly know you. Ha, ah, see what I did there? All right, you're going to go out on loan as well. See what happens with you. 
We have Shola Shortire. I think I'm going to keep you around and see if I can get you some experience down the road in the season. Uh, Zidane Iqbal, same thing. Wellens and Savage, Melor and Fish. I will probably down the road put you all on the loan list, but that's, you know, further down the road. So that's where we're at at the moment. So at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and leave our uh, session for FIFA today at such. If you guys have comments, who you want me to bring in, who you definitely want out, or who do you want me to take off the transfer list, hit that comments section, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, ring that ring-a-ding bell, and let me know what you want to do next for the next episode of Career Mode. We will be back on here on the One ID United Guy channel with some more gaming content later on today. Probably some more FIFA. If we can get 100 likes on this video, I will post another FIFA career mode video today and I will also be back with some other video game content I will be doing some Fortnite content later on this evening with my nephew I will also get on with some WWE 2k22 content very shortly so please stay tuned thank you everybody for tuning in and until then this is the one-eyed United guy keeping an eye on United till the next one guys peace